So today I have a max level Odin at level 66, which is the highest level that you can achieve so that you can unlock all the attachments that this gun provides. I do have a couple of class setups that I do recommend. The first class setup is mainly designed for that aggressive type of play style. So you want to keep in mind to keep your engagements from short to medium range and use this class setup on smaller maps. Now, the second class setup is designed more for those medium to long range gunfights on bigger maps. So if you're playing something like ground war, this is a class setup that you would want to run with. So let's talk about the structure of the video. I'm going to be talking about weapon data. I'm not the type to just get a good gameplay with a gun and then deem it the best class setup and give it to you guys. I like to extensively test out every single attachment to provide the best possible class setup. Then next, we're going to be talking about the attachments and why I chose each and every attachment and lastly provide you guys some tips and tricks on how to use this specific weapon. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you're part of the 92% that do watch my videos but realize you have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can never miss another video with the way the YouTube algorithm is always changing. Sometimes my videos will not reach people and they will never know that I posted so this is very important. So let's talk about the damage. As far as damage profile goes it's 77 damage to the head which is very very high and then 62 damage to the chest and 48 damage to the stomach so of course you want to make sure you're aiming for the chest or the head to really reduce the amount of shots it takes to kill now as far as damage goes the odin is the highest damage assault rifle in the game and a weapon that you should use if you're looking to win a lot more gunfights because trust me you will melt with this class setup guaranteed so now let's talk about the amount of shots it takes to kill from different ranges just so you guys are informed and keep this information in mind when you're playing in game and knowing how many shots it takes to kill from those ranges to start off with the body shots from 5 to 25 meters it's a two shot kill and then from 30 to 70 meters out it's a three shot kill this is actually pretty crazy because by default, this gun is already a two shot kill from five to 25 meters. So you can imagine on a smaller map, how effective this gun will be at winning gunfights. And you wanna keep that in mind when you're using this weapon to close the gap as much as possible so you can get that two shot kill to the body. If you're aiming for the head, it's two shots to kill from five to 75 meters out. Get those two shot body kills from that five to 25 meter range. Or if you're from a lot farther and you can do it, make sure to get those headshots to get that infinite two shot kill range now if we add stopping power to the mix this changes everything keep in mind if you want to reduce those shots to kill you want to equip the stopping power field upgrade because from 5 to 15 meters out it's a one shot kill this is absolutely crazy and you will definitely be probably accused of hacking the game because of how quick you will kill somebody with stopping power on again with stopping power from 20 to 75 meters out it's a two shot kill to the body so this is absolutely insane and i highly recommend putting on stopping power if you feel like you've been losing a lot of gunfights stopping power is definitely going to be the field upgrade for you in order to ensure that you win those gunfights stay alive a lot longer when you do get your stopping power you want to equip it right away just so that you can maximize the amount of opponents that you kill in every single engagement that you get into now as far as time to kill goes it's at 274 milliseconds compared to the others uh this is okay but as long as we keep those engagements at those ranges that i just specified this really wouldn't matter and you want to play smart as well so you always want to keep that in mind to use this weapon to its strengths and just don't blindly use this weapon on any single map and try to engage in gunfights that you know is not going to be plausible for you to win now as far as aim down sight speed goes it's on the slower side at 374 milliseconds so this is comparable to those lmgs however with the attachments that i recommend it brings that aim down side speed all the way down to 270 milliseconds which is 28 percent faster than the base aim down side speed on the odin so this is very significant and it's very very noticeable and this will help you in achieving that run and gun snappy aim cracked out aim type of play style now as far as movement speed goes it's not the fastest i know there's going to be some questions about the 25 round mag because this weapon only has 20 rounds so you only have 20 bullets to work with in each engagement that just doesn't seem nearly enough so no question about it you got to add the 25 round mags because it will definitely help you get in more shots in case your aiming is not on point now there is a con to this because adding the 25 round magazine as well as the 30 round magazine does decrease your
your movement speed now, i wanted to get down to the bottom of it of how much exactly does it reduce your movement speed so with the 25 round mag it makes you 2.5 percent slower than the base movement speed and with the 30 round mag it makes you 4.7 percent slower so of course the better choice would be to go with the 25 round mag it's not as much as the 30 round mag but if you're keeping those engagements up to medium range especially with the few amount of shots it takes to kill with this weapon 25 round mags is sufficient enough in my opinion let's talk about the rate of fire the rate of fire is 437 rounds per minute which is on the slow side if you compare it to other assault rifles in the game you would only need to land two to three shots at most in order to win that gunfight so always keep that in mind and don't really worry about the rounds per minute and how slow it fires all right so let's talk about the recoil so the base recoil on this gun it goes straight up and a little bit to the left which is fairly manageable if you're trying to counteract that recoil all you got to do is just pull down on that right thumbstick and you should be able to control that recoil now for those who are trying to minimize the recoil as much as possible you will see that the compensator which is the third one here to the left has the best vertical recoil reduction i found that if you're trying to reduce the recoil on this weapon as much as possible without really sacrificing way too many attachment slots or way too many cons compensator is the way to go now let's talk about the actual attachments on the main class setup that i do recommend the first attachment that we have here is the tac laser so the tac laser will give you aim down sight speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness now if you can increase that mobility as much as possible on this weapon that is going to be a major plus because of how slow and clunky that this weapon already feels there is a con to it which is your laser being visible to enemies like i said earlier since this is a more aggressive class setup you want to keep those engagements from short to medium range and do not engage in long range gunfights too much because what happens is you're going to be aimed down sights and the enemies are going to be able to know where your location is because they see your little green laser and it will give away your position leading to an unnecessary death that could be avoided because you just didn't use the weapon correctly all right so moving on to my stock i'm using the ftac xl elite comb stock and the pro is your aim down side speed and the con is aiming stability now we're all in this for the aim down side speed now the con is aiming stability which is really something that you shouldn't worry about because this is only going to be that weapon sway that you notice when you're aiming down sights it's not really going to affect your accuracy at all so do not worry about the con moving on to the perk this one's going to be very important we're going to need sleight of hand we're going to be running and gunning here and we want to stay locked and loaded as much as possible especially with how low the ammo count is in the magazine we are working with 25 round mags but if you're running and gunning and playing a little bit more aggressive it's important to stay reloaded and have as much ammo as possible going into the next gunfight this will give you a lot more confidence as well to take on multiple enemies if needed so next is our rear grip which is the stippled grip tape this is going to be the best choice here because it gives you a pro of aim down side speed as well as sprint to fire speed sprint to fire speed is going to allow you to fire your weapon a lot faster after coming from a sprint so this is of course going to complement our aggressive play style moving on to the ammunition this one is very key because it gives you five extra rounds so the 25 round mag is going to give you more ammo capacity now the con is aimed down sight speed as well as movement speed but you know we don't really need to worry about that because like i said earlier it makes you 2.5 percent slower with that movement speed con which is not really that bad compared to the 30 round mags at 4.7 percent slower it's not really going to be noticeable and the aim down sight speed is nothing to worry about either because we do have the other attachments that i just explained that do counteract this con for my secondary i'm running an xrk 357 this one is just pure personal preference you can use whatever secondary weapon you're comfortable with using for perks really quickly i'm just using eod to reduce the damage taken from explosives it's super annoying to die from claymores proximity mines as well as c4s this will save your life a lot and avoid unnecessary deaths part two is ghost which is a must-have in my opinion because it will keep you off of that enemy radar and compass when they call in those uavs so this is going to be a essential to keeping you alive a lot longer when the enemy uav is up they're not going to be able to find your position and locate you now for perk three i'm using tracker i really enjoy using this perk especially if you're a running gunner and you're a flanker you lone wolf it it's really hard to predict enemy movement so as much intel as we can get as possible is going to be necessary and being 
able to literally see those eliminated footprints and follow it to the enemy is going to lead to an easy kill so that's why i really enjoy tracker now for my specialist bonus perks i'm running with scavenger so we can replenish our ammo and for my fourth kill i'm going to be getting hardline so that our next bonus perk is going to be earned at five kills instead of six since we're using hardline which is battle hardened which is going to reduce the strength of enemy flash stun and emp effects then at seven kills we're going to be able to earn all the perks in the game which is essentially going to make you a super soldier and harder to kill because of all the perks that you've acquired in the game now this is all just personal preference if you want to you can deactivate the specialist and just go with kill streaks if you want if you do i highly recommend changing out eod and switching that out for scavenger because of the low ammo count that we have you just need to be a little bit more cautious and not run around the map recklessly because of all the explosives that could potentially kill you since we're not using eod all right so moving on to lethal i'm using c4 i like to use this when i'm running and gunning and toss it at people who are camping in windows or in 1v1 situations i can just toss it over an object that the enemy is hiding behind and i can end that gunfight instantly with c4 assuming he is not running eod for tactical i'm using stim shot just so we can heal ourselves a lot faster to either get back into the gunfight faster or to flee from a gunfight or tight situations where our health is really low all right you guys so that's about it for my odin class setup leave a like if you do support the channel and you want to help me grow and subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss another video but anyways guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace